What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make great sounding beats the simplest and easiest way I know how. Uh, with that being said, this is a video going to be aimed towards beginners or people who have been making beats for a little bit now, uh, but just want to find a simpler and easier way how to do it. All right, you're going to open up your DAW, your digital audio workstation. Um, you might be using Ableton, Logic, Pro Tools. Um, what I'm using right here is FL Studio, also known as Fruity Loops. Um, you're just going to open up a new track, uh, everything blank. You might have a preset in there, just erase everything. Um, first thing you're going to want is a melody. Now, when I was a beginner, this is something I had a hard time making. So I found some resources that really helped me out in the process. And that inspired me to make this video here today. Okay, so the next place we're going to want to go is is your web browser and we're going to go to looperman.com looperman.com uh, is a pro audio resource musician community uh, that uploads loops uh, what loops is is pretty self-explanatory just audio that loops itself or is supposed to um, you can find almost any type of loop here you can search uh, by category key genre um, BPM. BPM is the important thing. We're going to circle back to that here in a second, so stay tuned. Um, but yeah, if you're going for a certain type of feel or a certain type of uh, music that you're making, you can search it. Man, you can find almost anything here. All these people that upload here are great. Um, but let's just start going through some of these and seeing what melody we want to base our beat off of. Uh, I'm just going to pick a short, sweet one today uh, just for the fact for the tutorial. So that way we can get through this so I can show you. Okay, so right off the bat, I mean, front page sounds pretty good. So you're going to want to download it, save. I'm going to pull it up in my file browser here okay so you got it in your file browser so once you have it in your file browser take that drop it on okay now if you can see closely what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to line up with those lines so Let's see if I can show you guys. Right there. So you see how it's not lined up right there? It's kind of in the middle. That's where the BPM comes into play. So if you go back on tags, it says it's 135 BPM. So we're gonna go back to our Fruity Loops. BPMs right up here. We're going to take that and we're going to drag it up to 135. Now it lines up with the nine. Perfect. Okay. So, on rewind. So, I'm just going to go to song, push play, make sure we hear it. All right, it's in here, sweet. And now what you wanna do, click on the little pencil icon right there. We're gonna hold control, highlight it, make sure it turns red. And as holding control, we're gonna do control and B. And that's gonna create our loop. Now let's listen to it loop. Sounds good. All right. Next thing, we need drums. The drums um, are one of the easier things to make. So what you want to do is you can go on the internet, um, find some drum packs, some free drum packs. Um, on the side here under my packs, you see I have Somatics. Somatics is a really good website for starting producers. They have a lot of free uh, drum packs, free sample kits, uh, a lot of free stuff on there. 
Uh, go check them out. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just really like how they support small producers like us. Um, but yeah, so as you see, drum one shots, open that up. Also check drum loops, but um, we're just gonna go to drum one shots just because it makes it feel like we're not ripping off the whole beat. Um, this one has no D major, so let's see if I can find one. There's a D. Okay. So we're going to go up here. This little icon that I'm highlighting in orange right here. Um, that is our pattern. So we're going to take that kick, drop it up there, replace our old kick with it. Now we have to find some hi hats. So find a closed hi hat. There's one. Replace our hi hat. All right. And then a snare, replace our snare. Now this is a super simple beat that I'm making purely for this tutorial. So this is not how I make uh, my beats obviously, but this is a really good way how to start out. Um, just kind of kickstart your producing career or your hobby, whatever you want it to be. Um, but yeah, purely for tutorial purposes, I'm gonna be, go super basic, super simple. And then if you have any questions or wanna see a video on something else, just let me know in the comments down below. Um, drop a like if you're still watching and uh, love the support you're giving me. Okay, so now that we have all that, we're just gonna go make our beat, super simple, kick. So switch it to pattern up here, kick. And then this was our snare, so we can... Yeah, super simple. Let's spice it up a little bit. So we got... There you go. And then hi-hats, uh, really quick shortcut. Um, right click on your hi-hats and then you can fill the four steps or two steps. Uh, just try it out, see which one sounds better. Okay. Um, what I do in most of my beats though is I open up the piano roll on your hi-hats and then you can kind of edit them to kind of be different than rather just the plain old tss, 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 tss. okay so just erase a couple of those see how that spices things up all right and then we're gonna paste click on the pattern up here paintbrush Start from the second loop. Control B, just like earlier, to loop it. And then you can see how it sounds. So right off the bat, we're off to a really good start with this. Um, going back to our pattern though, um, one thing you can tell we're missing is bass, everyone's favorite. Um, so open up the 808 pack, find our bass, drop our bass in there, split it up evenly. Now listen to it. Now obviously this is not mixed or anything like that, so everything sounds a little off. The bass is not as high as it needs to be. It's not equalized with the kick properly. Um, the, but one thing I wanna to touch on is the loop. 
what we kind of did is we just kind of dragged it in and used it as is, um, which is fine. You can do that um, super easy, but just kind of make it feel like your beat. Um, we can go into, if we right click on the track right here, go to track mode, go to audio track, and then just select an insert. Um, I'll just do insert six just for it. Uh, the cause of this tutorial, go to the mixer icon, which is right here. Click the mixer. Now we just assigned this whole track right here into insert six. So why does this look like that? Shorten this up. Don't know why it's so long, but there we go. Okay, so once we're in insert six, we have all these slots to enter our plugins and effects and all of that stuff. So, I have an effect called the vinyl effect. It's from Isotope, it's a free plugin. Um, I recommend everyone have this, it's awesome. Make your beats stand way out. I'll show you what it sounds like. So, and add some warp to it. A little bit of wear. Put it in the 70s. Now let's listen to it. Sounds pretty good. Sounds a little different. Um, we're going to open up our mixer tab. And we're going to go to reverb. There we go. Once we got our reverb up, we're going to listen to it, see how it sounds. Let's go back to our pattern and over on this side, these numbers right here, that is going to correspond with each one of these inserts on our mixer page. So our 808, we want it to be louder, more predominant. Um, so we're going to just assign that to number five. We're going to go in here. We're going to EQ it. EQ is short for equalizer. Um, just drag the high end down, drag the low end down, and then we're gonna go to that sweet 50, 50 between 40 to 50 hertz. Uh, we're gonna pull that up a little bit. Okay, once we're done with that, we're gonna open up. Do, do, do. Sound goodizer. It's pretty self explanatory, but. Pretty much it amplifies your sound. All right. Sounds pretty good. Um, and then if you wanna spice things up a little more, find some percussion. Add some percussion into your loop. Then add some reverb to that percussion. Sounds good. All right. 
So let's listen to it all together again. All right, so it sounds pretty good. Um, just for this tutorial purposes, uh, we're gonna say that is a done beat. Normally I would spend way more time on it um, and make my own melodies and whatnot, um, but this is obviously a way easier way of doing things. Super easy, super fast. You can start cranking out beats. Um, easy way to learn pretty much. Um, get a kickstart and just learn your ins and out of your DAWs while making good sounding beats at the same time. Um, but if you want to know how to actually make this full track, just hover over that, highlight this full bars here, control B it, highlight it again, control B. And now you got yourself pretty much a full beat. Um, if you duplicate that even once more, um, but yeah. All right, guys, hope that helps. Um, it's as easy and simple as I can make it uh, with sounding good. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Any support to keep me motivated at this point, uh, really appreciative of it. I'm not sure if I wanna make these videos anymore or just do the whole YouTube thing. So you guys just let me know down in the comments or with likes. Um, if you have any questions, uh, concerns, or if you have any shortcuts of your own, please let me know in the comments. I'm always responding to everyone in the comments, no matter what. Um, with that being said, though, peace.